Namaste and crystal blessings to my earthly celestial and elemental soul tribe in this magical, magnificent Pachamama Gaia Earth and beyond. Nikki from Nikanita Cosmic Creative wishing you all the highest vibration of love from my heart space to yours as always. As you know, I always begin this way because it's very important for us to connect with each other from this space. Okay, in this space, this heart chakra, the most powerful energetic portal, there's no race, there's no culture, there's no everything that we have identified ourselves in this earth realm, in this lifetime. This only knows love, only knows energy. It, has, it sees us as human and beyond, as a living entity living being an organic living being so yes it's powerful here we connect to every and each organic sentient being that we are sharing space symbiotically in this beautiful realm so it's very important always here so here we are the sun is brilliantly awesome awesome energy shining on my face right now it's about 9 p.m. I think or so so yes so those who are in the upper northern land you know it is the uh, since the solstice is the longest uh, nights uh, with sunshine we have and as we celebrate the midsummer's day tomorrow in a big scale in Sweden and for those who also celebrate midsummer's day and midsummer's eve so for this magical midsummer's eve when the wheel is thinning or is thin the portals are open and you also know today is the 666 because the 24th of june 2022 and also you have the luminary alignments if you are into uh sky watching you know stargazers you know there's this planetary or i call that as luminaries the wandering stars alignment I'll make another video on that so it is a powerful day indeed so we would like to tap the magic with the elementals of the fey realm today because yes they're all around us but there's certain times the portals are open the gateway where communication and contact is more fluid as you can say so I have chosen three beautiful decks for us all from the Fey realm, the inspirational wisdom from angels and fairies, this beautiful, gorgeous deck, and by Karen Kay, the Oracle of the Fairies, and well, formerly by Miss DV, now is Radley Valentine, the fairy tarot cards. So we connect to this beautiful Fey energy as I'm by the creek, finally doing. A video by the creek I don't know if you can hear the sound of the creek it is beautiful so every time we have a weather like this I just count our blessings because it's not been a very good uh, spring and summer this year been very chilly so um, rainy gloomy I just have to tap the magic within it's not easy like I said, you know, I don't wake up and singing sound of music, like I said in my previous video. No, it is tough. It is tough being limited. This powerful uh, quantum sovereign beings we are and stuck in this human avatar is so limiting and it's not easy, especially with all these high energies coming in, bombarding us this plasma beautiful plasma energy but to some people you know you may not be handling it well so ground yourself keep grounding to mama nature grounding to mama earth mama Gaia is the only one mama Gaia Sophia for those who are really connecting to her consciously she will be helping you because we need to ground with this different frequencies that we are receiving in a very very higher uh, voltage <laughs> so to be not short circuit we need to ground 
and it's a beautiful cycle within Mama Earth's energetic grid. So it's much needed. Please, please ground yourselves wherever you are. Hug a tree, talk to a plant, you know, walk barefoot. Like today I could do it because of the weather is permitting. So please, that is the only way in and also out connecting to the organic nature organic living beings so first I will uh, do from the fairy tarot of course I brought my beautiful quartz so we can tap into this beautiful energy being surrounded by nature and we just connect to these beautiful beautiful energies that we are receiving and encompassed during this beautiful gateway, stargate, portals, vortex of this midsummer sea. And I will also connect the uh, Oracles of the Fairies. And the inspirational cards. This is a lot of cards because you know it's tarot. So let's see what this beautiful faith family have a card or a message for us. <laughs> Not an easy shuffle. Whoops. <laughs> There's three cards there. Ah. So one flipped. Six of winter. Okay, we got six more weeks. Ah, uh, six more weeks. No, no, not yet. Six more months to winter. So positive changes are on the way. A welcome relief from troubled times, traveling or relocating. Six of winter. Let's see what the message says. Not so much of the season. Six of winters. that shortly and we'll pick one from the uh, beautiful fairy oracle by fairy lady Karen K and she also have beautiful mermaid mermaid oracle which I have that one I would love to go by the lake since we don't have See salt water connection here. So I hope to go by the lake one of these days to do Oracle of Moments. Mm. Not three cards. Just one card flip. If there's a message for us, I'll pick one. Ah, all right. Transformation. Beautiful. This fairy tells you to surrender to a transformation in your life that's happening for your highest good. Embrace your transformation. The best is yet to come. Beautiful transformation. And from the inspirational fairies. Okay, fairy, you are so impatient. Why I could pick Earth Mother as I was talking so much about Pachamama Gaia Sophia here's Earth Mother allow your heart to propel you to greater things than you have ever known beautiful beautiful so 
so before I go into the books of the rest we'll see six of winter positive changes are on their way see there's transformation is we are ever evolving changing dimension timeline so this is very useful if you don't know that you are going through these uh, changes oh that's a train <laughs> okay it's good that I'm making the video here so it's quite a distance from our track next to the house so positive changes on their way a welcome relief from troubled times traveling or relocating six of winters see what it says So positive changes are on the way. The challenging times fade away as you prepare to set sail for sunnier horizons and happier shores. Leave your troubles behind you and plot a course for the future. Allow your frustration over past inconveniences or hardships to disappear and embrace the new dawn. Travel, especially over water. Much needed for me. Maybe in your future, or your journey journey with it can be you know yes just as I was saying okay. on your on your journey or sorry or your journey may be metaphorical one okay it doesn't have to be a physical one it can be metaf metaphoric so opportunities to move or relocate should be looked upon favorably a ferry navigates his boat toward the village uh, this is the uh, oh that's the picture on that He's on a small boat. Okay, a ferry navigates his boat toward the village in the distance. While there may be ice still floating in the water because winter, the scene here shows the warmth that the future holds. Additional meanings of this card is life moving on, facing your problems so that they no longer trouble you, a welcome relief, choosing a new city to live in. Like I said, you know, if it's not physical, it can be metaphoric changes, metaphoric travel, moving on. Just like for those who practice like me, you know, I wish to shift to the highest possible timeline, so-called. Because we are always changing. We don't know what we do. We can always get a favorable outcome in our everyday undertakings. That is magic. Okay. So transformation fairy. Okay, this card is not numbered. So let's see what transformation fairy is telling us. Transformation. Okay, this fairy tells you to surrender to a transformation in your life that's happening for your highest good. Embrace your transformation. The best is yet to come. The caterpillar has no idea. It's about to transform into a beautiful butterfly. If you drawn this card, the fairy of transformation has flown into your reading to remind you that you're, you're transforming or are about to transform. Change can be challenging, but it can also be exciting as you witness your own beautiful transition into a new you. So butterflies are messengers from the fairy realm so if you see a butterfly, be aware of what's going on for you in your life or what you were thinking when you saw the butterfly. The butterfly can act as a spiritual exclamation mark, highlighting the answer to the question you asked during the reading. Whatever your current circumstances, know that things are changing and transforming for the highest good of all. For the guy, uh, sorry, for the highest good for all the fairy of transformation wishes to remind you that change can be more amazing than we can ever imagine when we let go and surrender to the natural changes that occur in our lives the process of transformation can be a beautiful experience change and transformation can also have a ripple effect on those around us Sometimes people resist change, making it an unpleasant and painful experience. 
So seeing you willingly transform with love and trust may have a super positive influence on their personal experience of transformation. This very tells you which parts of yourself and your life are ready to transform. So follow your lead and allow trust and, and flow. All is well. So as you know, butterfly is metamorphosis. Okay, it is painful. What we are going through right now, it's not easy for me. Beautiful energies are coming in. Powerful indeed. But like I said, you know, limited being in this meat suit, <laughs> this human avatar is very challenging. But of course, we all go through it differently. But um, for those who are going through like me, I'm sure you understand what I'm trying to say. So it is not easy. It is a different kind of challenge for us. For so much we want to do. We, we want to experience that superhumanness. But we can. We can achieve that. We can totally uh, be embraced by this pure magic but patience we need to we need to go through it we need to flow go with the flow ride the wave like I said it's always always easier said than done I am still learning we will never stop learning this experience until we exit physically from this beautiful earth realm so if you come across this video and you are going through exactly what I'm saying you can always comment down there or you need to talk you don't have anyone to express this I'm here because I know how it is I'm going through a very solitary path because it's easier to be that than being around thousands or millions of people who don't get you at all because everyone is going through their own unique path right now so if you need someone I'm all ears okay and let's see this beautiful earth mother tells us Earth mother if you let it a generous heart will pr propel you to greater things than you have known before the mind can captivate you and make you a prisoner of your own thoughts okay but a heart that is open is heart space chakra but a heart that is open will bring a whole new per perception of life by giving your love, you will fly stronger and soar higher. Allow your heart to take control so that you can release yourself from those past thoughts that have ensnared you and taken away your freedom. I will help you to maintain a powerful and creative path, says the Earth Mother. Affirmation for this card, I am ready to overcome all ills from the past I move forward in love. You can rewind again, you know, if you want to know the affirmation and the meanings that I've gone through with the cards. But the messages for all three cards is the same. Moving on, transformation, and operating from here. And Mother Earth, the last card, Earth Mother is telling, operate from this chakra and connect to her. He's always there for us. So this beautiful Midsummer's Eve messages. I hope it reaches you well wherever you are. Sharing my beautiful nature and days. <laughs> if you saw my squirrel video, <laughs> not a dull moment. I am so blessed. I'm so overwhelmed. They warm my heart. There's a reason to be alive and be grateful with this beautiful, surrounded by these beautiful, amazing, sentient beings.